Hello everyone, Manny Kiso here and welcome back to another Blockmash tutorial. In this Blockmash tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make custom items in Minecraft using Optifine and Blockbench. So without further ado, let's go to my desktop and get started with this video. Alright, so we're here on my desktop and like every other video, we're going to have the example template texture pack. But we're going to start with the custom items template. The first things we want to do is we're going to open up Blockbench. Alright, we're here in Blockbench and now we can go to our Java block slash item reset and we're going to create a new model now that we're here you see you should see this pop up and you can rename it to whatever you like but do not put any spaces or any other special characters you can have underscores to replace your spaces so we're going to make a pickaxe and we're going to call this the tulip pickaxe so we're going to call this tulip pickaxe and press enter there we go now we're here and we can do whatever we want so first things first we're gonna press create group and we're going to call this the um, I guess like staff part of the pickaxe. I'm gonna uh, press add a cube and we can just start working on the pickaxe. So since it's a pickaxe, we're gonna make it a little bit long. So we're gonna make this about like around 16 blocks, I mean pixels uh, long and we're gonna make it two by two like that. Jeez. And we're gonna center it. So to center it, we'll put it right there. There we go. Actually, I'm gonna make it a bit lar larger maybe around 22 is good for now and we're gonna call this new group pick because that's like the more like pickaxe part of it and we're gonna move it to the middle so we're gonna base it around here and we're gonna do it like this so i'm gonna make it three but you see that there's a little bit of an issue uh i want to make it so that it looks like half right here and half on the other side what you can do is hold shift when you're moving and it'll move it like that and you can do it to any of your liking and i'm gonna make it like this i prefer this so we're gonna adjust it and if you want to customize both ways to be exact hold the alt key and drag there we go so now we can model it and i'll let you model it however you want so you can follow uh, by slowing down the video i'm gonna do a quick uh modeling montage and here we go Here's a little tip if you want to make it like sort of like smaller like around here here's a tip you can use this right here which says inflate and we can customize it to any of our liking so we're gonna call this there we go but i want it a little bit bigger maybe i want it like maybe 0.75 and it looks pretty good like that so i'm gonna base it off right there and back to the montage middle part is too long so we're gonna adjust it a little bit and we can select it like this like that hold your control key and left click and drag and there we go and now we can move it to our liking there we go i like that we are almost done but i want it on the other side to match up so what we can do is we can do the control and drag again we're gonna press the control d to duplicate it and we're gonna press uh transform flip and flip x and there we go now we have it on the same side and maybe you want to add some like more details maybe i want to add like a handlebar it has like a better grip to it i don't know i'm just making all this up on the spot because i want to be real with y'all oh no i've made a mistake um if this ever happens to you just go down here and just move it manually there we go all right here we are drag it up a little bit and you see that it's not really i don't want it like that i don't want the what we call z fighting um a perfect example of z fighting is that you see that they have two different colors and they're fighting each other basically to see who gets on top but to fix that we're gonna you know inflate it by a little bit maybe like 125 so it's not too big but not too small and we forgot to add the most important thing of the tulip pickaxe the actual tulip but this isn't required so i'm just gonna decorate it however i want here we go again with another montage.
All right, I'm done with my pickaxe. I added this little cool thing up here. So now we're going to texture it. So to texture, we're going to press Control A, and we're going to press, and it will make it select everything. And we're going to press the Create Texture button right here. And we're going to call this the same thing, or you can call it whatever you want. So I'm going to call it Tulip Pickaxe. And there we go. Make sure everything is correct here. Make sure it looks like this. Texture template. 16x color blank uh rearrange uv uh, make this is off off and there we go and there we go now we can texture it however we like so we're gonna go to the paint section and we can paint it whatever i'm gonna make the tulip yellow so it looks nice um you can decorate it however you like you do whatever you want uh there's gonna be another montage which is this one the texturing montage let's go Also, if you're texturing and you don't want to like mess up like with like this where I'm using the fill tool, but I want to color here, don't worry. You can just turn off these things and I'll turn it off for you. Okay, so I was uh, wondering, what am I going to make this pickaxe replace? So we're going to make it replace the diamond pickaxe, and since it's already blue, we might as well color it blue. Um, yeah, so I just thought I should let you know that. And we're going to also do this trick again right here. Um, and also, you want to make sure you get every little spot, even the spots that are not even showing. So, like, you don't know it, but there's actually a texture behind this. So you can find it by pressing the I key, and it'll isolate everything else. Make sure to paint everything so nothing is missing in the texturing process and there we go it looks like we filled every spot um now if you want to this is optional uh, you can actually put like real texture into it that's what i'm gonna do real quick so we're not actually gonna do a montage i'm just gonna cut right to it fully like textured and everything so yeah and one two three also here's a tip on texturing if you don't want to do forever uh, what you can do is press this mirror painting and it really does help and also you can toggle off the axes and axes um so you can like do that quickly in swiffer uh, like like a swiffer like swiffer wet jet i guess i don't know um but this makes it so much easier it's so much quicker to do uh it gets all the hidden details for you so i can do it right here and i'll do it on the other side there we go do the same for here do the bottom and there we go we're almost done texturing all right i'd say we're done so this is the final product that i have and how do we put it into block mesh oops i missed the detail let me fix it real quick all right this is the final texture that i have done for it uh you can see it has a little bit more detail so now what now uh, we're gonna go to the display option and we're gonna go well display it however we want and we're gonna go to third person left and we're gonna adjust the pose angle to zero so we can make it flat it'll make it easier to rotate so we can rotate it like this we're gonna rotate it uh 90 degrees that's perfect and i feel like it's a little bit too big so we're gonna shrink it down to size and do not just drag it or else we'll make it flat like that so what you want to do is hold shift and drag it'll make it uh, shrink on all sides i think this looks pretty good so now we're gonna move it to this hand so to do that we're gonna press the copy tool then go back to see here, press paste. And now we're on third person right. Now we're going to adjust it right here. And I want to make it look pretty good, but not obstructing your view. So shift and drag there. And we're going to copy it and paste it. There we go. Now for the head, you can do whatever you want. I like to put in little Easter eggs. So right here, we'll make it like look like it's mining into my head. And on the ground, we can apply a preset and we can apply any preset, but you can customize it if you want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make it look like it's laying down. So to do that, we're gonna call it, we're gonna uh, look at this red spot, which is the X axis, and we're gonna call it 90 degrees to make it perfectly flat. There we go. I like that. And on the item frame, we can choose how it looks however we want. So I put it on default item, 
and I'm gonna leave it like that with a preset. And GUI, I like to make it look creative, but um, I also like to put it on the default block and then adjust from there. So, there we go. And now I'm gonna move it into the center to make it look a bit nicer. That's optional, you don't really have to. I just prefer it like this. And it is complete and ready to be put into Minecraft. So what now? Well, first we're gonna press the save texture button right here. We're gonna press save. Go to desktop. And we're gonna scroll down to where our example texture pack is. So our example texture pack is right here. Custom items template. We're gonna click it, assets, Minecraft, textures, custom item texture, or you can make a new folder if you want, or just put it here. But I'm gonna go in here, press save. Now we're gonna press file, export, export block item model. And now we do not save it to the texture. We're gonna go back a couple of steps and go back to the Minecraft folder. We're gonna go to Optifine, CIT, models, item, and save it right here. And once it's saved, we can minimize block bench, go into our example folder, and go to assets, Minecraft, uh, Optifine, CIT, models, item and here we are so we want to make this property files right here look like this so we can just rename it call it tool the pick axe i can't spell uh but you have to name it whatever your model is but without the dot json so we're going to go into the properties file and we're going to edit it from here and since this is going to overwrite the um i mean pickaxe we're going to uh, make it so it says minecraft diamond underscore pick X. Hey guys, editing man here. Um, I should let you know that each title, uh, each item has a different name, so you can't um, always like depend on like just pickaxe and like you see. So what you can do to find out its Minecraft name, it's uh, do F three H and it will say Advanced Tooltip Shown, and so you can go to your inventory and it will see Minecraft Diamond Pickaxe underscore Minecraft Stone Pickaxe in Minecraft Netherite. Um, yeah, so it's different, so uh, make sure it's the same, and yeah, that's all I have to say. And we're gonna go over here, remove the bracket model name, and call this the model's name, we'll do underscore pickaxe. And we're gonna change the model as name that we're gonna put into the anvil to we'll do pickaxe. And make sure you copy this name exactly. So what I like to do is just highlight the whole thing and press Control C to copy it. And we're gonna press the X button and press Save. And there we go. So now we're gonna do is close this, and we're gonna go to Block Bench and we're gonna go File. And we're gonna save the project as, and it will already make it a name for it. And we can just name save this on our desktop just in case if anything happens. We're gonna close Block Bench. We're gonna go back to Minecraft options resource packs press open tag folder and we're going to look for the example folder that we just made so this one we're going to drag it onto resource packs name right there and i'll move it and we're done we can close it and now we just got to look for it and here it is custom items template we're going to press this little button right here press done now we're going to let it load for a little bit which will be a couple seconds for you but a little bit longer for me all right, it has fully loaded in. So now we're into our world and now what? We want our pickaxe. So we're gonna go to search items and we're gonna look up for the item that we replaced. So we're gonna call, we're gonna look up diamond pickaxe, which is my case. And you can see that it's not there. And you're wondering why? Well, this is where it gets interesting. We can rename it to what we copied it. So we're gonna press control A and control V. And there we go. Bullet pickaxe, it's finally in the game looks good and if we go into survival mode it actually works there we go that's pretty much it for this video i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one i pretty much am done this is was a pretty short block bench tutorial video if you want to see more um i am going to make another one where you can make custom crossbows and that's pretty interesting all right see you in the next one and look out for more block bench tutorials and more videos see ya